What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, Alex's Toy Show. Uh, we're talking trade deadlines. We're talking pennant race and who's selling and who's buying. Oh, there is one shocked fan right here. One shocked Yankee fan right here. I'll get to it. First, um, we got to talk about the record-setting 18 trades made on trade deadline day, August 1st, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We uh, we shattered the record. Well, we didn't shatter it. I mean, the previous record was twice, was 15 trades on uh, trade deadline day. This year, set the new record, 18 trades. A lot going down. Texas Texas Rangers making a few moves to make the postseason, locking themselves in in the West. Uh, Texas gets catcher Jonathan Lucroy from Milwaukee, Milwaukee Brewers, for uh, outfielder Lewis Brinson, pitcher Luis Ortiz, and a player to be named later. Texas also picked up Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran, the 39-year-old veteran, had a great career, still having a great career. He's having a career year at age 39. He's batting 304. He's got 22 home runs. He's the only guy performing on the Yankees, really, where the Yankees should be. Uh, they trade for Carlos Beltran from the Yankees for three prospects, Dylan Tate, Nick Green, and Eric Swanson. Okay. The New York Mets traded uh, for Bra Jay Bruce, I'm sorry, outfielder to Jay Bruce from the Reds for two, sp two prospects, second baseman Dilson Herrera and pitcher Max Wotel. The Dodgers. The Dodgers picked up Josh Reddick, outfielder Josh Reddick. Everybody knows who Josh is. And pitcher Rich Hill, pretty good, from Oakland for three prospects of their thir top 13 prospects. Three of the top 13. Uh, Frankie Montes, Grant Holmes, and Jaul? J-H-A-U-L? Jaul Cotton? Okay. I butchered that boy's name. Sorry. San Francisco Giants made a few moves. They traded for uh, for pitcher Matt Moore from Tampa Bay. They send over there the uh, 2015 Rookie of the Year runner-up, Matt Duffy, Lucius Fox, and pitcher Michael Santos. San Francisco Giants also got Will Smith from the Brewers for pitcher Phil, Phil Bickford and catcher Andrew Susak. Uh, sending Susak out makes sense because... Buster Posey isn't going anywhere. Um, the Angels picked up uh, Ricky Nolasco and pitcher Alex Meyer from the Twins for pitcher Hector Santiago. The Dodgers traded uh, for Jesse Chavez from Toronto Blue Jays. Now, Toronto, see, Toronto trading people away almost doesn't make sense to me because they're trying to make the race. They're trying to make the pennant race. But this, I, I mean, I get it. It's uh, They sent over Mike Bolsinger. Uh, for Jesse Chavez. Toronto made a couple other trades, though. They got pitcher Scott Feldman from Houston for Lupe Rivera, and they got Francisco Liriano from Pittsburgh for three players, Drew Hutchinson, Harold Ramirez, and Reese McGuire. He's a catcher. Ramirez is an outfielder. Drew Hutchinson is a pitcher. The Pirates also made another move. They got Ivan Nova from the Yankees. For uh, for two players to be named later, I think the Yankees took the solid hose here. You're trading away key players that could have. I mean, the Yankees are not out of it. I well, I mean, they are now, but you know, they're they're at 500 as of today. They're at 500. They're only five games out of the wild card race. They're only five games back of the wild card race. And it's August 1st. I mean, there's a lot of ship sinking in August. And you could... I would not be surprised. Are you ready for this? I would not be surprised if the Yankees, with who they traded away and all these players that they got in return, if they make a run for it and they come within a game of wild card. A, you know what I'm saying? They don't have a bad team. They just have a lot of people not performing. And... Sadly enough, they didn't get rid of all the people performing. They got rid of the better players that have potential for teams that are trying to make the postseason. That's, that's what you do. That's what you do come the trade deadline. You're either a buyer or a seller, and you're either, hey, we're going we're gonna to go for it, or, hey, we're going to get ready for next year. Now, 
They're going to make some killer moves. I would not be surprised, regardless of however they do the rest of the season, I would not be surprised if they make some serious moves this offseason so that 2017 rolls around. It is all about the Yankees. All right, so back to this. The Pirates get out Von Nova from the Yankees for two players to be named later. Uh, the Mets pick up Jonathan Neese. They trade for Jonathan Neese from the Pirates for pitcher Antonio Bastardo. Jonathan Neese used to come from the Mets back in the day. Cleveland Indians got Brandon Geyer. He's a solid outfielder from Tampa Bay for two prospects, Nathan Lukes and John Leader. John Leader? Salinas? J-H-O-N-L-E-I-D-E-R? Baltimore picked up Steve Pierce. Now, Steve Pierce is no stranger in Baltimore. He played there a whole bunch of years. He played all the infield positions, all the outfield positions. So he, he's a quality player right there. That's no joke. Um, they From Tampa Bay, they gave up catcher Jonah Heim, H-E-I-M. The Cubs got pitcher Joe Smith from the Angels for Jesus Castillo. Boston got pitcher Fernando Abad from the Twins for Pat Light. Now, I've never heard of Pat Light, but I've heard of Fernando. The Dodgers got pitcher Josh Fields, right, for uh, from Houston for first base Jordan Alvarez. And the 18th trade of the day, San Diego got back <laughs> pitcher Colin Ray after he got injured in a game against the Cardinals. Miami sent him back to uh, San Diego. He's like, fuck you, San Diego. He was part of the seven-player trade involving Andrew Kashner back on Friday. So, uh, so there's that. Now we're looking at the uh, the AL East right here. The O's, the O's are, are half game up on the Jays. They're 59 and 45. The Jays are 59 and 46. Let's take a look at this right here. But right behind them is Boston. Look at this. Now with all the moves that that were, went down today in the last couple of days for the trade deadline, I really see the Boston Red Sox coming out on top here. I, I wish the the Orioles had made another move or two to stay afloat of the Jays and the Red Sox, but I don't think they did. I don't think they did, and I don't think that the Jays have outmoved to the Red Sox, and I think the Red Sox are going to come within that one-and-a-half uh, deficit, and they're going to take the East. Uh, now, if we move to the Central, all right, Cleveland's on top. Cleveland's going for it. I believe they're going to finish out. They're very, um, they, they're on top. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't see, the White Sox definitely aren't pulling it off. Detroit, maybe, but they mean, I don't think they did anything to solidify their offense or, or their defense or anything. Their pitching rotation. So I have to give the Central to Cleveland. Uh, the West, however, hands down is the Texas Rangers. And if they didn't have it before the, fucking trade deadline they definitely have it now because they picked up beltran they picked up luke roy and that jeffers kid from uh in the luke roy trade yeah now let's take a look at the ao wild card right detroit one game back in the wild card houston two and a half back look at the yankees five games back look at the seattle mariners five games back um the Sox though in kansas city i just wrote them on there because i thought they were going to make it this year but holy crap they um they floundered. And I'm really surprised no one went after Chris Sale. I, I think the asking price was probably too high. I I mean, how are you giving up one of the better pitchers in, in the American League this year for, for nothing? Right? Nobody. Uh, wow. So who does it come down to? Cleveland, Texas, or Boston? I, I think that's going to be a solid Boston-Texas series. I, I like Cleveland. I... Jesse, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesse and I go way back. We're big Cleveland fans. And, yeah, you know what? I don't live in Cleveland. I'm not from Cleveland. But they're they're a good sports town. And Jesse and I, we talk about it. We haven't talked about it in a while, but we will, Jesse. Don't worry. Uh, Texas and Boston. It's going to come down to Texas and Boston. And I'm going to go with Boston. Boston for the American League. Going to the World Series. Uh, let's do the National League. Are you ready for this? Here we go. National League East. Washington is on top by eight and a half games, four and a half games. Okay. Now the Mets made a few moves. They, the Mets or the Mar Mar Oh, that's the Marlins. 
The Mets made a few moves. They're back in third place. Uh, I don't know that they have enough to pull it out. Washington might run the rest of the way with this. Miami is pretty hot, though, but I don't know if they can come back four and a half games and take first place. But they are running the wild card pretty well. Uh, in the Central, no doubt it's the Cubs. Cubs, Cubs, Cubs. I said back in spring training it was going to be the Cubs. I mean, they're eight games ahead of the second place St. Louis Cardinals. And then in the West, uh, it's going to be the Giants. So, um... East, Central, West, wild card. Here's the wild card race. St. Louis, the Mets, and uh, Pittsburgh, three and a half back. The Mets are only two and a half back in the wild card. It's going to be a very exciting National League pennant race, but it's going to come down to the Cubs and the Red Sox. You know, they were saying on the MLB Network this morning, uh, who was it? Was it Joel Sherman? Oh, uh, crap. I don't even remember. I, I watched so much baseball today. He was saying that it could be a Cleveland... Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Indians World Series, and they're the two teams who haven't won it in the longest time. And here they are. They could both go to the series. But I think it's going to be Boston Cubs, and, you know, you got to be in it to win it. Dollar in a dream. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, that's my, that's my pennant race. We'll talk playoffs in a couple weeks or something.